<clears throat> Hello Tube, I just realised something. Um, in all the relationships I've been in, or most of the relationships, I've always took on the role as being a support kind of thing. For instance, um, I'll go back a couple of years. When I was with Aaron, his dad came on the phone and says he didn't want him anymore. So in that instance, I felt all the pressure on me. I can go back even further. I just I was just talking about Lee's situation. When I was living with Lee, the, the social workers were saying he didn't need support, I can do it all. Again, all the support, everything was shoved onto me. You don't mind me saying that, do you? No, Lee? no. That's wrong, no, said that. And then I think what way it went wrong with Daniel is that in Wedditch, he kept leaving and I felt all the pressure of, of Lee's mental health issues on top of me. And I'm always, I'm always feeling the pressure in relationships. Um, I just realised it as I just, I just think about my past. I know you said something earlier and it just, it, just, it just clicked in my mind. When I go into these relationships, a lot of the time I'm having all the pressure piled on top of me. And, and sometimes it feels like something's going to build and build and build until a fault happens, you know, like an earthquake kind of thing. Because you social workers and that were saying that, oh, Daryl can do it all, won't they? Uh, they were saying I could do everything. I could, I could do his cooking, your cleaning, your, your, sort out your mental health issues. I, mean, I knew I needed help. I thought you could provide that help for free. I mean, you've got quite a lot of issues, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, I don't see that much of you now, really, do I? I mean, yeah. apart from today, because we've been to see Ben, but... I only see an hour or so of you because of the buzzes and that. Of course, I'll go to the gym and everything else. But I'm just saying that how right. how a lot of relationships... Now, I just said before, how a lot of relationships don't work for me is that for some reason... It starts off where it's equal relationships, but gradually, for some reason, all the pressure comes onto me. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Um, but... I just, it just doesn't make me happy because I feel like it's not a two-way thing, man. And it's like, it's like I can go all the way back to when I was with Lee and I can think of, like, his social worker used to say, oh, no, you can do it, you can do it, he doesn't need support. Or his community nurse, or whatever he used to say. And <sighs> Yours was the worst case, actually, because of all your issues. Yours was a... I think if I supported, we might Your, stay together. Yeah. Yours was the worst, if anything. Mm. With, a, with Aaron and with Daniel, it wasn't as bad as that. In fact, with Daniel, it wasn't really hardly anything. It was just because he couldn't... He, we both struggled with your mental health issues in Redditch. And, uh, and he had an escape route, but I didn't. And obviously, I couldn't handle it then. And then I, and then I became unhappy in the relationship because I had all the pressure... Because I had all the pressure of you piled onto me. Well, I'm just saying that all the pressure was on me because um, because um, because you were saying because you was mentally unstable at the time. I would be going back there. Huh? I would be going back to living Redditch. Well, exactly. Yeah. So you just confirmed. It's so all I felt all the pressure on me, and then I wasn't happy. Um, you know? I was never going to be happy in Redditch. <sighs> I don't want to think about the past. The oh, past, past cannot be changed. I'm just I'm just looking back and thinking everything that's gone wrong. That's what I'm doing. I don't know why, but we now. I don't know why, but I'm just saying that in those situations I felt too much pressure and, and it's not... Mm, I mean, Daniel was quite independent. It's just that everything with... Everything, he's more independent than Aaron and, more, and definitely more independent than you. But the problem was is that your mental health issues were spilling onto both of us. And, uh, and as I say, he had an escape route, but I didn't. So, obviously, I felt resentful that I couldn't get away from... I shouldn't have been, none of us should have been in that situation. Not is that fair to say? It's the truth. I've been hospitalised, you know. That's how it is. I've been hospitalised, I don't understand it. No. 
So that's how it is. So I'm just saying. So. Mm. And I. You got you got pa paranoid schizophrenia, is it? What's Psychosis. it called? Psychosis. Psychosis. Autism, learning disabilities. Yeah. So I couldn't handle that on my own. So it was too much. Too much. It's not what you want in a friendship anyway, is it really? We're listening, having to deal with all that. Just I mean, I'm not having a go at you, I'm just saying that. I'm not having a go at you at all, I'm just saying that that's, that's where it went wrong. It's too much pressure piled on top of me. You say I'm sorry, no. Now I've took a step back, I can, I can see where, I can see where, where, where it went wrong. You know, because we're I... We're all so linked together, aren't we? All three of us, we're all linked. Not really, because I can go back to Witchbowl. How do you mean we're all linked? At the time, we were all linked, because we were all living together at number one. Yeah, but that was my housing issues, because... What's the name? Kept changing the rent. She kept changing the rent, didn't she? It goes back to that Sarah Turner again, how well. Oh, yeah, I suppose it does a bit, yeah. Hmm. But, um... That's it really, it was too much pressure. I found it was too much pressure on me and it just made me resentful and annoyed that there was no escape route for me. Basically, if I said number one, you said a Hanby Road, would have been no issues, would have been all right. Oh, I don't know. Huh? Say if again? If I said it number one and you, you said a Hanby Road, you would have had problems. Yeah, but the problems predate Sarah Turner, the problems predate Hanbury Road. What I'm saying is that all the way back, before 2011, even then there were problems because all your social worker could say was <coughs> was that I had to do it all. What did you and Ken say about This is what I'm saying, it goes way further back than Sarah Turner. You know, it's not. I was having support there, weren't I? It's not healthy for one person to do everything, it's just I not. I careful, didn't I? <coughs> and I'm not talking about Daniel and Aaron because they're quite independent. I'm talking about you. I'm saying that I couldn't deal with all that. No, it's too much. Mm. If I had support, we might have been alright. Mm. Go back to Joy Ridge. <sighs> Saturday night in Joy Ridge is quiet. Anyway, I'm not going to think about the past. Peace, 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 love and blessings. Of all. Had a good day in Shrewsbury. And I refuse to think about the past because it's not healthy. Does so. she side with her No, I don't need to think about the past, Lee. I just, I just don't need to think. It's not healthy to keep thinking about the past all the time. It really isn't. No. I know you, you, uh, you're obsessed with... I know you're obsessed with the past, but it's not healthy. It's really not healthy. There's zero you can do about the past. You can only change the present. You can only change the future. It's really, really not healthy to have an obsession with the past. Really unhealthy. <coughs> okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. Peace, love, and blessings, everyone. Peace, love, and blessings. <laughs>